Hi, I'm Crystal Moore, and I'm here with Ed Ma- Meyer, Mayor of Midvale. That's a tough one to say. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Tell us, how did you become the mayor of Midvale? So I've been the mayor for 11 years there in Midvale, a town of 172 strong young Americans. I was on the council. I moved up to president of the city council, and then our mayor resigned, dumping that position in my lap for the short little while that was left in his term. And then it came up to election time. I thought, why not run for mayor? And I ran and I won. And now I'm serving my third term as mayor. Well, we're kind of sheltered where I live. We have a very amazing artesian well that feeds our community. So we have no pollutants in our water whatsoever. We're not in any danger of having a lot of pollutants in our water. If I lived in the valley, it'd be a different story. Where my business is, down closer to Boise, the water tastes a lot different that comes out of the ground. You don't want mutant children? rather not. Hmm. So there are a few little known perks about being the mayor of a small town and one of them is that you get to officiate weddings. I really enjoy it because it's like wedding day seems like is the most happiest part of anyone's relationship and I get to help it be that much more fun and meet some great people and see them get liquored up and have a good time. I don't do religious weddings. I just do fun weddings. (laughs) There's no fun in a religious wedding? Well, I haven't seen it, but I guess well, some people do have fun. Maybe the Jews, they have a good time. Well, Jesus turned water into wine at a wedding, so it must have been a good wedding. Religion is the devil's seed. There is nothing more evil out there than organized religion, but that's just because I was raised in it, and I don't really know what I'm talking about much. But You're crazy. That's, that's the craziest control. thought I've ever heard. Control. Who talks like that? <laughs> people can't control themselves. I can. I don't like to, but I can. <laughs> You don't even look like you like to or you could if you wanted to. That's why I live in a small town. I get away with a lot. <laughs> and I'm the mayor. It's even better. Oh, I get a mayor card from the state. It says I'm official mayor. I get discounts on hotels when I travel. But it's also a very nice thing to have when you're dating and you're single. You are single? I am. Never been married. No children. <laughs> I had a puppy. He got ran over, so I wasn't meant to have pets either. I hear in Amsterdam there are, there are streets with just hookers and windows, like you're window shopping for prostitutes. You can get from midgets to supermodels, whatever you want. They've got these little windows and small little rooms. They've got a uh, little curtain that goes over them when they're busy. And one door going in, I don't know if that's the same door you go out of or not. But yeah, and then they've got uh, cafes that got great food and all <laughs> kinds of herbal remedies in there that you wouldn't imagine that you could buy, but you can. And it's, it's a fascinating country. Um, I understand why Van Gogh cut his ear off. Just cutting hay on the ranch over the summer and the doggone gophers kept breaking sickles in the uh, swather. And, and out of a fit of rage, I went down to the shop, grabbed the service truck that had a settle and an oxygen tank in there. And I made a crude device that was somewhat safe for myself. And I started banging away killing gophers. And the neighbors kind of found out what I was doing and they wanted me to build them one. Gotta get those gophers. <laughs> <laughs> that is an Idaho solution to a problem. That's beautiful. Uh, how did you get involved with the Shriners, and, and what does that mean to you? Um, I became, first of all, a Freemason about 15 years ago in my small town back home at a Blue Lodge I joined. And then as I grew and started studying my work, I found out that the Shriners were, were free, a larger Freemason organization that I got involved in, as well as the Scottish Rite. And I'm, um, I'm on what they call the Divan down in Boise with the Shriners, of more the leadership group of the Shrine. And I really like um, giving them my time for that because I think it's a great charity. It's, uh, they do a lot of good for children around the country. They've got 22 um, burn centers around the U.S. And they give free care to people that can't afford it. There's a lot of kids that have terrible accidents that uh, they'll come in and totally fix them up and change their lives for the positive and, and not have to pay for it. And uh, there's a lot of conspiracy theory on Masons and, and that. What do you say to, to the conspiracy theorists? I believe it. If they say it happened, it's got to be true. <laughs> you read it on the internet. You... I read it on the internet. <laughs>